key matchup tonight is how Zoll does against her. Robertson high post, zips it back door, and Williams is all by herself. Out to Zoll, who rattles in a right ring three. Yes, sir. Baseline right side, Zoll knifing down the lane. Charnay backs up, sharp jumper, got it to go from seven feet away. Babs team man to man with running the fly, run her. Bounce pass in the garden, and Charnay Zoll is able to cheat from the weak side and knock that pass away and steal it. Now looks back door down the floor and finds Saida Williams streaking in for a running scoop shot that's good. Leg, so yeah. not necessarily a player that can move real well. Zoll hesitates, drives down the lane, pulls up and banks the running right hander off the square. Cavaliers lead 11-8 at 14.05. McGuire off the screen, hop steps in from three, missed it. Granberry got the rebound and puts it back up and in, in one motion from 10 feet away. Then picked up by Garden, looking for somebody and throws it away. Right in the hands of Granberry and the Cavs get to run. Their tempo back to Zoll, touch it off to Granberry, up to the left hand layup. 8-4-7 run the last 20 minutes, inbound pass from Zoll to Sarton, backs up, baseline 16-footer, bucket. Top of the key, 17-10 Cavaliers. They meet by a touchdown for the second time. 12 minutes to go. Here's Jawara throwing a skip pass and throwing it away near sideline. Picked off by Zoll, who looks ahead. Sardin, Sardin goes in. Up with a running layup. It's good. Virginia on the break, turning turnovers into offense. 19-10 Cavaliers at 11-45. And the Cavs will run four on three. Kenny DeGrande down the right baseline. Jumper from 17 down for Takesha Granberry. Nobody shut her off, and she missed the running left-hand layup. She was wide open and couldn't get it, and Williams the rebound. Zoll down the floor, spots Kenyon, pump fakes away from Finity. That's a missed layup the Cavaliers didn't need. And Jawara throws it away, tried the backdoor pass, and Denisha Kenyon steps in front of Chris. Kenyon racing to the other side. Oh, my goodness, an acrobatic two-hand layup. Looking for the pick from Saida Williams, runs left off of it, takes it toward the left wing, back to Littles between the circles, ducks down the lane, got away from Jawara, picks this advantage, she explodes and scores with a left hand. The next whistle, Kenyon off the middle screen, going to the right side, no change of pace dribble, pulls up, pitches out Zoll, faking left, now should drive middle on the penetration move, gives to Williams, wide open on the pick and pop, and she lays it in, going down the lane. Littles looking back door from Lindra, bounces to her outside the mid post, bangs in on Garden, Lindra, tough foul away, kissed it right on top of Kerry Garden, and got it to go. And Zoll starts the offense from the top of the key with seven, with six, cutter step dribble down the lane, looping right hander, sweet shot by Zoll, she's got it to go with three seconds. Off the screen by Garden, Kirby Copeland down the lane, Zoll cheats over, dives on the floor, and steals the ball. Now Williams, the long pass up the floor to McGuire, tries to hit Robertson, was tipped by Chris, but picked up by Sardin, who throws back door to Robertson, and Abby finishes with the right hand. <laughs> Tiffany Sardin at the right baseline, Sardin pulls up, jumper on its way, booking for Tiffany from 16 feet away. Now Zoll out to Granberry, who pops the three, yes indeed. Right back to Kenyon. Kenyon driving pitch to Zoll. Now on the corner right, Granberry, quick trigger, three! She got it to go! Takesha's got it stuck on automatic tonight. Jackson feeds the high post to actually Dewara to Jackson, back to Kerry Mason, steps around Zoll, and Zoll picks the pocket. And here goes Charnay, cruising in easy to the other side. Running layup is good. Gets it to 20. Nearly a throwaway as Anderson right hands it to Brittany Cook, who lost the ball on the dribble and is picked up by Tiffany Sargent. Here comes Zoll on the outlet. Charnay, four on three. Zoll wraps the bounce pass to Littles. Littles bangs into Anderson. The shot is good. And a foul. Virginia by 20. To Keisha, faking off the screen by Lindra Littles with eight to shoot. Cranberry diving down the ground lane. Cranberry's looping. Left hander is right down the pipe. Kicking left to Kenyon with three, with two. Denisha diving down the lane. Pull a 14 footer. That's a veteran play. You're right, Jed. That, uh, that just takes years. Right side, McGuire, wide open. Pops the three. Yes. By Saida Williams. Another turnover by the Hokies. That is 23. Cavs have just 14. And here comes Sartre. Got the baseball pass. Tiffany inside. Running leaner. No, but Granberry the tip. You've got to be disappointed about. High post Sargent diving down the lane. Out to McGuire for another three. Ring it up for Brenna. The ball. They lead by 21 with 55 seconds to go. Zoll off the screen, Zoll drives inside, Zoll up and under fake. Left hand runner is good for Chardet. Obviously it was one of our best performances today, and uh, I suppose the first half was one of the very best performances we've had all year. Um, 
I was just really pleased with the fact that we could come off of two losses and not lose our confidence. And uh, there was a lot of things working against us. Virginia Tech had eight days to prepare for us. We had a day and a half. So it makes a big difference when, um, you know, you're playing a team that's prepared a whole week for you and then you don't, you don't have as much time. But um, I just thought our players and our coaches, our assistant coaches, all three of them did a superb job of preparing this team and getting them ready uh, to take a team like the number 18 team in the country uh, on and with all that time to prepare. So I was real pleased with the, the fact that we were able to do that.